was lost. Oh, Peter, you poor, poor soul. The unsung tragedy of Family Guy. Whose story will leave a hole in the heart of even the most heartless. Today, we are going to be explaining the Peter is Dead Theory. Before we continue, I warn you, the following theory is not for the faint of heart. And so, with that disclaimer out of the way, let us begin. In essence, the Peter is Dead theory ascertains that the entire Family Guy show and its characters are all part of Peter's mind that he seeps slowly into insanity before his death because of tragic events that happened in his real life. Peter Griffin in the real world was a loving father and actually quite an exceptionally intelligent man. Lois was still the same beautiful, caring mother. Meg, actually, in contrast to how she's seen in the show, was actually the most popular girl in the school and was very beautiful, akin to that of Connie D'Amico except minus the heartlessness. But however, Chris was actually deprived of oxygen during his birth and that caused him to be mentally retarded. And that's why he's a bit slow in the show, but in real life it was a lot worse. And finally, Stewie was still in Lois's belly, yet to be born. However, one day it would all go awry. Meg, being the most popular girl in school, had went to a party and was rather troubled by the fact that she was so adored by her peers while Chris was an outcast because of his weirdness, his like mental retardation, and kind of just like overall goofiness as a human being. So she took him with him to his party to be adorned like she was and to have fun like she had. However, during the party, she had drinking a lot and had gotten drunk. And when driving home with Chris in the back seat, she had crashed the car, killing them both. Everyone in the family grieved the tragic death of these two youngins, but no more so than Lois herself. After seeing the very being she carried within her for nine months lay waste before her, she could not take it anymore and decided to end her own life unfortunately taking the unborn Stewie with her. Peter, having bore witness to all of these catastrophic events one after another, his mind broke. And now he lays in an insane asylum awaiting his inevitable death. And whilst in that insane asylum, his mind, he imagines the entire show of Family Guy with all the same characters you know and love and all the wacky and kooky events that transpire. And this theory has an explanation for each character in the show. Peter, letting his family die, sees himself as a dumb, buffoon idiot that is unfit as a father or head of the household. Lois Griffin is still, for the most part, the same beautiful and caring wife and mother she was, but of course, in Family Guy, you can see her wretched and kind of evil side leak out a bit in the way she treats Meg and other people because Peter deep down inside resents Lois for killing herself and taking Stewie away. Meg is the worst and that's why in the show Peter is so mean to her and she's seen as an ugly outcast at a school because if she was that then she would have never gone to that party and caused their tragic deaths. Stewie, who Peter Griffin never had the luxury of laying eyes on, he sees as a baby with infinite potential and infinite intellect. And that is why Stewie is the way he is in the show. But also Peter's hatred for Lois manifests in Stewie's disdain for her as well. Now you may have noticed this entire time I forgot to mention their dog, Brian. In the real world, they never had a dog or any pet of that variety, but instead Brian is Peter's intelligent side manifested as he is an idiot he had to manifest his intelligent side which is brian though i find it quite unfit to call brian really intelligent as he seems in the show to be just an intellectual fraud and isn't really made of much intellectual substance at all and peter's friends joe cleveland and quagmire are his actual friends in real life and they appear in the shows as they come to visit him in the hospital while he's incapacitated slash insane and for the rest of the family guy characters some are real people and others are characters he's seen in tv that is manifesting in this world to make it more entertaining slash tv show like 
And that is the Peter is dead theory. Tell me, do you really think it's possible that Family Guy is a mechanation of Peter's imagination? Or do you think that this is just some weird fan's headcanon? Other than that, that is all folks. Good night.